By now, you've probably heard of Hell Divers 2, the game that is taking the internet by storm. Currently, there's two versions of the game you can buy, the regular edition and the Super Citizen Edition. Today, we're going to go into everything that is included with the Super Citizen Edition or bundle, tell you if it's worth it or not, and uh, show you all the fun features. So if that sounds good, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And let's dive on in. So, so the Super Citizen Edition of Hell Divers 2 comes with a multitude of great little goodies for the cost of ten dollars. You're gonna get a free armor set, a new cape, uh, an exclusive weapon, some exclusive little uh, nameplate that you can show off to everyone, and an in-game eight-bit arcade cabinet all of which adds up to being a pretty compelling package. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the DP-53 Savior of the Free Armor Set. Uh, it's the one you see in the gameplay here. This armor has a pretty great effect that is better than a lot of the starting armor. And in fact, I think this kind of just makes it worth the bundle cost uh, to begin with. What the armor does is when you receive a lethal amount of damage, you have a 50% chance to survive it which is pretty awesome. If, if you, if you're someone who can roll nat twenties, this, this is the armor that you want to use. Now this, this effect is not exclusive to this armor. In fact, uh, it can be found on the fourth page of the default war bond. So if this sounds like a interesting effect that you want to use in your day to day, after a while, after several hours of progression, you will be able to get the same effect. It just won't look the same as far as the armor goes. That effect, of course, is tied to the uh, chest piece. The helmet is a bit of an interesting helmet, kind of looking like a winged Valkyrie, or like if your hell pod went upside down, at least your head would be a giant knife. Um, it's a choice. It's a bit gaudy. I'm not one who would usually rock it, um, but it is an option that you get with this armor set, and it goes nicely with the free cape, which is the Will of the People cape. I think the biggest highlight to this is just the like foil gold texturing that is on the cape. Uh, that that kind of makes things, that kind of helps it stick out and makes it really nice. And it's very hard for me to uh, leave this cape for any of the other capes in the game currently. The next thing that you get is the MP98 Knight weapon. It is a submachine gun. Of course, submachine guns are interesting because they are one-handed weapons in this game. That means when you have objectives like carry the hard drive to upload it, you still get to use your primary weapon while doing that objective. The idea behind the MP98, it kind of feels like a space P90. And by that, I mean a 50 round mag that's top loaded and uh, has a incredibly high rate of fire, 1300 rounds per minute. Uh, the recoil on this is a bit high. Uh, I found that using the first person or the ADS mode was a lot easier with this gun. It made it much more controllable compared to the third person aiming. It just seemed to get away from you as far as vertical climb goes while doing that aiming. I don't know if it's just because Personally, you're more used to aim down sights and controlling recoil aim down sights compared to going in third person. But with all that said, the MP98, is it a weapon that uh, you need? No, it's cool that it's exclusive and it's fun, but it's not uh, the best weapon. And I think you're going to end up being better off just sticking with the default assault rifle to start off the game. After that, of course, we can talk about the super citizen status. This is your little name badge down in the bottom left-hand corner. It usually displays your rank. You can go ahead and have it overwritten in a nice big gold letter, say super, super citizen. Uh, I'll be honest, I have that rocking because it's very fun to, when you drop in with some normal people, for them to see you're a super citizen and be like, oh, we got a super citizen on our hands. Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, personally, I think it's fun. It's a nice little nameplate. It's, it's just a nice little bonus. Then we come to the fun 8-bit game called Strategy Hero. It sits as a little arcade cabinet right as you come out of the cryo chamber that you find yourself on on the ship. Uh, it allows you to sort of practice your stratagems. Basically, you have rapid fire rounds where you have to call in the most number of stratagems that you can. Get your up, down, left, right arrows going. Uh, 
and uh, try to get a high score and compare it to your best friends. Overall, just a little bonus that you add to your shift that is quite fun. The last thing that the bundle does include is the premium war bond, uh, which is called Steeled Veterans. It is very useful. I think this is another just great reason to buy the Super Citizen Edition. I'm not sure if it's available on its own, but if it's not, then I feel like the Super Citizen Edition is a must go buy because the Premium War Bond has some excellent, excellent weapons in it. It has some great, great new armor and it has an armor set that allows you to throw uh, stratagems 30% fast or 30% farther, which uh, can make all the difference when you know, you have a 380 millimeter barrage that tends to do a little bit of team killing. But yeah, that is everything that is included in the Super Citizen Edition. Overall, I think it's a great bundle. One, I think the value that's in there is super fantastic, but also, I'll be honest, I'm someone who purchased this uh, day one uh, with, with my game because I am a veteran of Helldivers 1 and loved that game and I knew I would love this game as well and I'm here to support the devs mind you you know they've been wildly more successful than they expected but um, I think the quality of this game speaks for itself and those people should be rewarded anyways guys if you like this video if you like Helldivers content make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day see ya